Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. I'm Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher. And today I am reacting to So Yang singing Ari Rang Alone from Immortal Songs 2. I have heard this is an oldie but goodie. I know everyone has already reacted to it. I'm very late to the party, but a lot of you have been requesting me react to So Yang, and I figured that this would be a good place to start because it looks like it's such a popular song, and I have not heard it yet. So I'm thrilled to be reacting to a brand new singer to me today. I know that she is not brand new, and that she is very well respected, and everyone really loves her voice. I do want to invite you to take my free three-day course on how to sing high notes. Everything's totally online, so it doesn't matter where in the world you are. All you have to do is sign up. I'll put the link here, and it's also in the description. And as soon as you enroll, a email with day one will be sent to your inbox. At the end of those three days, you're gonna have a lot better of an idea on what exactly you need to work on to improve your high notes. So without further ado, hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to turn on notifications if you don't wanna miss any of my lives. I go live every Wednesday. Let's listen to So Yang. <laughs> What a gorgeous start to this song. We hear her tone is very clear, very clean. She is singing very piano, so quietly, but it's extremely legato. So legato means that there is no break in the sound, that she's just singing on the line and it's very clear. And it fits this song very well because there's not a lot of breaks, right? It's very smooth and we just get to really enjoy her tone. Let's keep going. vibrato is so even, so well supported. And could you hear that even when she went into her head voice, it was so smooth that you could barely even tell. Beautiful, also I love her dress. Oh my gosh, she looks so gorgeous. Let's keep going. <laughs> When she went up into that belt, it was so easy for her. Her mouth was really wide open, so we know that that space is used to really resonate the sound before it comes out of our body. So you can tell in any really experienced singer that when they're belting up there, 
it sounds easy because they're giving their body and their sound enough space to really let the sound bloom. Now that's whether you're belting or whether you're in head voice. She had her mouth fully wide open, right? She wasn't pried open, it was it was a relaxed open, but it was pretty wide open. And now this is, we're really getting into the meat of the song. Okay, so that part was really, really exciting. We see her um, kind of playing with the fact that she's on stage with the violinist, who is also killing it, by the way. How exciting to have an electric violin right next to you as you're performing. She has so much facility with her voice. I think that that's really what my first impression of her is, is that, first of all, gorgeous voice, and also she can really just switch as many times as she wants from head to mix to chest to belt to back to head and also that run that was a descending run was so clean and clear really impressive okay so let's finish out the song <laughs> Part. She really toned it back down, so we're back in that reflective place. Obviously, this song is very famous in Korea, and she really does a, an amazing job portraying the meaning of that piece, portraying the meaning of, of being one. Um, and I think it's important that when you're singing, you know, even a song of your own nationality that is so famous that you're you really take into account that the audience all knows the song right so that you are able to include them in your performance and you could see that when she included her audience and they all started singing as well which was special <laughs> and also that she just gave us so much contrast within the song right there were it started and ended very quietly but we had that build towards the middle and then it came down again and we really got to hear the meaning of the song 
Um, I appreciated having the subtitles, but even if I didn't, I could have some kind of an idea of what she was singing about because it's just so clear the expression in her eyes, the way she carries herself, and the way that she carried her voice through the song. So I'm really impressed with So Yang. Definitely, guys, go ahead and comment on what your favorite So Yang performance is, and I would love to do more reactions of her in the future. But don't forget to hit subscribe. And if you are interested in improving your high notes, go ahead and download my three-day free course. Okay, guys, have a great day. Bye.